Hey everyone, it's Sam here. For my very first post, I wanted to talk about what I learned when I first started going to recovery meetings. And that was living one day at a time. And I never thought that I was possible to ever do this. Uh, I, I heard it for the very first time when I went to my first recovery meeting. And I was like, oh no, like there's no way I could ever do that. I have depression, so I'm always thinking about the past and everything I didn't do and I everything I did wrong and all that kind of stuff. And then with my anxiety, I'm always thinking, oh my gosh, this has to be done, this has to be done. Uh, you know, just always worrying about what's going to happen, what might not happen. And uh, so when I heard the whole one day at a time thing, I was like, no, that's not meant for me. <laughs> That's meant for someone more balanced in their thinking because I was definitely really all over the place and I still am. But if I can focus on my recovery just for 24 hours, it literally makes such a big difference. When I was first told that I had an alcohol addiction, Actually, I was told many times, but the first time I actually listened when someone told me that I had an alcohol addiction, my first thought was, oh my gosh, I can't have a drink for the rest of my life. This is going to be horrible. My life is over. I'm going to be boring. And, and all this stuff was going through my head. And so I, when I heard this one day at a time thing, I was like, okay, first that's not possible, but I'm willing to give it a shot. And then I realized that if I could break down my mental health and sobriety recovery in 24-hour segments, that would take so much weight off my shoulders. So I, I've been trying to do that for the past four months, and about 50% of the time it's been working. Uh, just because with my anxiety, I do have a bit of a difficult time focusing on the present. Now, obviously, there's certain things that you do have to think about for the future. But for me, sometimes that happens more than it doesn't happen. But I'm trying really hard, and I know that it's going to be so worth it once I can have that ability to seriously live one day at a time. But for the most part, I am getting it. And the days that I am able to focus just on the next 24 hours, it's awesome. And I would recommend it to anyone in sobriety or even for their mental health just to try their hardest to focus on what they're going to do for that day to stay mentally healthy and to stay sober. Now I just want to quickly say that the purpose of my blog isn't to give advice or to say that I have all the answers because I definitely don't. I'm just I'm writing this blog just to share my recovery journey with you guys and hopefully to help maybe a, another person kickstart their journey into mental health and, and uh, recovery. So I just didn't want to give off the impression that I am trying to act as if I know everything because I definitely don't and I really want your guys' feedback. feedback about what you guys are doing or maybe if I say something that doesn't make sense if you guys can ask questions or maybe give me constructive feedback that would be awesome and I would really appreciate it. Okay so what I want you guys to get out of this post is what's worked for me was living the whole one day at a time thing and just being able to break up your sobriety or mental health recovery into 24-hour segments can make a really big difference on the weight on your shoulders. It can almost be lifted at some point. So thanks, guys, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.